In the next few minutes, we're going to present our Nokia N97 review to you. The manufacturer of owns the device as being not only a top-of-the-range smartphone, but a mobile computer as well. It's Nokia's second cell phone with touch-sensitive screen, which measures 3.5 inches this time. Similarly to the Nokia 5800 Express Music, the Samsung Omnia HD and the Sony Ericsson Satio, the screen comes with a resolution of 360 by 640 pixels and 16 million color support. The image quality remains good in artificial lighting conditions, although colors are not as saturated as on the AMOLED devices. It is a good thing that details remain easily discernible in direct sunlight, but colors get slightly faded. Aside from this, the N97 has a screen that is more sensitive to touch than the Nokia 5800 Express Music, meaning it won't give you any troubles. The proximity sensor is clearly visible on the left of the earpiece, while the video call camera and light sensitivity sensor are on the right. The send and end buttons are also touch sensitive and feature resistive technology. We didn't have any troubles using them and they produce distinguishable vibration feedback when touched. Except for them, there is another rather ordinary looking button to access the main menu and the task manager. The Nokia N97 weighs 150 grams and the minute you take it in your hands you'll find out you're dealing with a heavy player. It has an elegant overall look despite it's almost entirely made of plastic. Now let's open the N97 and engage its quality keyboard. As you can see the display remains tilted while the phone is open and unlike the HTC Touch Pro 2, this particular angle cannot be changed. You also immediately notice the space key that isn't located in the middle but on the right. Pressing buttons feels clearly discernible and they are large enough for trouble-free use even by people with thicker fingers. On either side of the phone you will find two stereo speakers, a micro USB slot and a slider that locks and unlocks both the screen and the buttons below it. The volume rocker is right above the camera shutter and the former is by no means easy to press. The 3.5mm jack and the power button are on the top side of the phone. The 5 megapixel camera with card size Tessa optics and double LED flash is on the back, protected with a plastic flap. Look at the slightly bulging lower part of the back panel. This is so to help prevent the phone from getting tilted to its side when put onto a flat surface, say a table or your desk. The Nokia N97 runs Symbian S60 5th edition just like the Nokia 5800 Express Music, the Samsung Omnia HD and the Sony Ericsson Satio. Up to five widgets appear on the home screen, one below the other. They entirely replace the all too known home screen themes and can be hidden in this way, but cannot be removed completely. The available widgets aren't many, but you have the option to download more that gets you straight to the OVI store where, unfortunately, a widget section is still missing. As a whole, the main menu doesn't feature any changes. It can be shown as either a 3x4 icon grid or vertical list. In the latter case, items are selected with double clicks, which is typical for this version of the operating system and pretty much the same as with other cell phones running it. We find the screen interesting when you have an incoming call while it and the buttons are locked. Two sliders pop up, one below the other when this happens. You use the first one to answer and the second to unlock your phone screen and buttons rather than reject the call. The organizer is not any different from what you can find on other devices running the same operating system. But unlike them, the N97 sports a full hardware QWERTY keyboard only, meaning you don't have the software ones. We don't like this at all and do hope that Nokia fixes the issue via software update and soon. You follow your email correspondence using the standard Symbian client that offers quite a few options such as support for attached files, sorting messages by sender, title or date. Alas, it is by far 
not that comfy to use as Nokia messaging. The N97 comes equipped with the standard internet browser that comes with the operating system itself. In terms of functionality, it is pretty much the same as the versions found on the Nokia 5800 Express Music, Samsung Omnia HD and Sony Ericsson Satya. The difference is, it is the first time you have had the so-called kinetic scrolling or inertial momentum feature. Basically, scrolling movement goes on and doesn't stop the second you move your finger away from the screen. Web pages and their flash elements, including the YouTube player, load with almost no issues and navigation on such a large screen makes for a great experience indeed. Double taps are used to zoom in or out on things while keeping your finger pressed against the screen switches the handset to full screen. This is something we quite like. In case the page is too big to fit on screen, you can use the overview function to move around faster. The camera interface remains the same as on the Nokia 5800 Express Music. It feels somewhat uncomfortable when it comes to switching options and there are plenty. You can choose between 8 scene settings, a variety of shooting modes, 4 color effects, white balance, exposure, ISO sensitivity, contrast, sharpness and multiple snapshot sequence. After taking a picture, you can share it right away over the Ovi and Vox services, but unfortunately others like Facebook, Picasa and Flickr are unavailable. The gallery hosts all snapshots you have taken and features a quite comfy interface. You have several ways of filtering pictures, aside from being able to see them all at a time, they are easily grouped by relevant month or album and can be easily tagged. Unlike other N-series models, you won't find the multimedia shortcuts menu on the N97 because it has been replaced by music and videos and TV. The first starts the music library and the music player, which comes in a rather boring and button-down interface. Naturally, it offers several content filtering options by album, artist, composer and so on and it is a good thing there are several equalizer presets and sound effects you can take your pick from. As a whole, the music player is really easy to use. The Nokia N97 performs quite well when it comes to listening to your tracks. The overall audio quality is good, although we believe there is still room for improvement, especially alongside of cell phones considered the best with this respect. The videos and TV menu offers several options to see recently watched content, all available videos, those captured with the N97 camera or any downloaded from the internet. They are played with RealPlayer that comes integrated into the operating system. Its interface is simple and provides a few functions. MPEG-4 Part 2 videos, coded at the native resolution of the screen, play properly and despite the fact that image quality is not nearly perfect, Watching them on the 3.5 inch screen makes for a pleasing experience. The Nokia N97 is snappy and responsive with its 434 MHz ARM11 processor and 256 MB of ROM and 128 MB of RAM memory chips, but isn't any faster than other devices running the same operating system. The phone sports a beautiful 3.5 inch display a good slider mechanism and delivers high audio quality. Yet, it has several major drawbacks such as mediocre in-call quality and this issue that causes the operating system to freeze at times. Not to mention, the N97 is not exactly a stellar performing device in terms of multimedia. The cheaper Nokia 5800 Express Music offers pretty much the same functionality and better sound through the loudspeakers. All told, we have come to the conclusion that the Nokia N97 makes for a passable top-range smartphone, but aside from the hardware quality keyboard, it is not better than its arch rival, the Samsung Omnia HD, in any respect. We have to admit, the N97 is Nokia's flagship device, but such a title is far from well deserved, because the differences from the cheaper 5800 are not significant. 
Thank you for being with us. Please visit our website phoneurina.com if you feel like finding out more about the Nokia N97 and the wide variety of reviewed cell phones.